So what's good everybody, it's your host Louisiana Gator here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and make a quick video uh, debunking um, Roy's claims that he got me into vaping. Because if you look at my channel, this channel right here, and you go all the way back down, uh, I would say around to 2015, 2016, or let's say 2015 and 2017, you will find my first vape video, which involved a Kinger Tech Top Box Mini. And that was my step in the direction to get away from smokeless tobacco, to get away from cigarettes. And yeah, so for him to sit here and say all these, all this shit and whatnot is pretty fucking hilarious. Also, not to mention, I'm in a more advanced form of vaping than what he is. He still buys sub ohm tanks, he buys the pods and shit. Well, yes, I do buy pods from time to time. Uh, just because I want to do a review on them and have a nice little vape that I can, you know, like, lay in bed with and just vape rather than having a full-size mod in my bed, right? Um, but for the most part, I know how to build coils, and I have uh, tried experimenting with, you know, like, thinner gauge wire and thicker gauge wire making, like, you know, Clapton's and whatnot. Um, I think I had, what was it, a, a triple core Clapton or some shit like that that I built one time, so with that being said, uh, yeah, no, he's not, he did not get me into vaping, my cousin did, um, and I think it's mighty hilarious, because he knows that he didn't get me into vaping, because, one, the extents of my collection, how many mods I have, and how old some of the mods actually are, we're talking about, like, you know, what, 2014 to 2015, somewhere around there, so yeah, I have some pretty old mods in my collection, um, including the Kanger Tech Top Box Mini, which came with a uh, sub tank mini and then the little 75 watt single 18650 mod. And I got mine in, uh, in fire engine red, essentially, like a red mod, so. But it's just crazy the fact that he would sit there and boil up this claim that I started vaping because of him when he knows that it's not true. Because you can look at this channel and you can go to my Super Cobra Vapor channel. Uh, if it still has videos on it, I think it does. I would have to check. But if it does have videos on it, you will see videos from when I first started vaping. Because for the longest time, I created a separate, a separate channel for vaping. And then I started merging my videos back over here. So I could just keep an eye on things. So, and not to mention, before I met him, one of the usernames I had on um, you now was Vaping Gnome or something like that. Or uh, first it started out with Gnome with a beanie because I had a fucking broad gnome like beard and always wore a beanie in my live streams. All right, and then it went to Vaping Gnome. So with that being said, like no, you didn't get me into vaping, dude. If anything, I got you into vaping because. You didn't know what the fuck vaping was until I came along. And we all fucking know this, and you know this, whether you want to admit it or not. So stop telling fucking lies, dude. Also, stop saying that I'm copying you when you know I, I'm not fucking copying you. How would I copy you when I have mods in my collection worth more than your entire fucking collection? Like, I have mods ranging from, you know, 150 to 300 fucking dollars, right? And, uh, my newest mod that I'm going to be having coming in soon was a little over, uh, would say 180, somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, and not to mention the mod I'm getting, uh, as you guys know, is the, uh, Steam Crave, um, oh, what is it? This, it has a LiPo battery, I, I forgot the name of it, but it's a, uh, it's a DNA-based device, and this would be my, well, no, my second, because I actually have the Lost Vape Theory on DNA 75, all right? And that's a good little mod in itself. That's another reason why I wanted another mod with a DNA-based chip in it. Um, while I have a lot of Wismic mods and mods from other brands like Smock and all that, uh, I don't really have too many DNA-based devices. Well, actually I actually have the DNA Go uh, from uh, Lost Vape. Um, I forgot what the hell it was called, but yeah. No, I'm sorry, but you're not going to sit here and take claim for something my cousin actually did because my cousin was the one who showed me vaping, not you, because I didn't even know you at that time. So, yeah. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Signing out. Peace.